free trade deals can take years, sometimes decades, and the EU Mercosur deal, well, it is no exception. But talks are underway here in Brussels with three commissioners and the foreign ministers of Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. But in the meantime, we've been out in the countryside of Valonia speaking to stock breeders to see how this deal could impact them. More details in the brief for Brussels. This is Mel in the Belgian countryside. We've come because talks are underway in Brussels about the EU Mercosur trade agreement. And meat is one of the most contentious topics in the negotiations. And Brazil is the second largest meat producer in the world. Belgians are worried, especially stock breeders like Yves Marie. I would love to be able to function without subsidies and have a fair price for our products. But in fact, we have products coming from Mercosur with lower welfare contributions, income and environmental taxes. We can't be competitive with those countries. I can only hope that your viewers will realize that by eating local Belgian products, they'll help preserve our environment and ecosystems. But the EU is Mercosur's largest trading partner. And talks with Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay have been going on since the year 2000. Seven countries, including Germany and Spain, have written to Brussels asking for the deal to be sealed as soon as possible. But France and Poland want more measures to protect their rural economy. The deal would include services and public procurement, as well as products like sugar, orange juice and rice. And the EU-Brazil Association wants it to go even further into the digital sector. Why we don't have a common strategy on artificial intelligence? Europe has just presented its own strategy. Why do not work together? Why we don't create a common area for cloud services? I would like very much to see more cooperation in the startup, high tech startup area. And these kind of things are even more important than how much beef you export. But first, the EU hopes to sell more cars and car parts, as well as pharmaceuticals and chemicals, to 270 million consumers. Wine and dairy too. For the EU institutions, this is about fighting protectionism by delivering fair trade deals. In this deal, there is a chapter about sustainable development that would be the most ambitious of every other side so far and a clear protection of human rights. It is about a model in which the EU does not only export goods and services, but also values and principles. When facing the America First policy that Donald Trump wants to impose, we show a different commercial policy. But not everyone is convinced and fresh protests are inevitable. But both blocs have pledged to seal the deal before the next commission takes office. And this trade deal that has been under discussion since the year 2000 will likely come up at the G20 in Japan. For your news, I'm Maeve McMahon in Brussels. Brussels.